Good evening and welcome to the Prescott Valley Arts and Culture Commission regular meeting on this September 18th. I call this meeting to order. Kathy, will you please take roll? Yes. Commissioner Sinclair? Here. Commissioner Gibson? Here. Commissioner Smith? Here. Chairperson Quisenberry? Present. Commissioner Lira? Present. And you'll notice we have an addition to the table today, our, uh, our new commissioner, Ed Lira, or is it Lyra? Lira. Lira, Ed Lira. Edward All right. Lira. Edward Lira. Thank I will you. give you uh, a couple of minutes to talk here in just a little while, okay? Thank you. All right, has everybody had the opportunity to look at the agenda? I make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second the motion. We approve the agenda as presented. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion approved. And has everybody reviewed the minutes? And are there any changes to the minutes? I'll accept a motion to approve the minutes if there are no changes of our last work study meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the May 8th May 15th and August 24th uh, minutes. Thank you so much. Study and regular meetings. Thank you so much, Andy. And that's August 14th. August 14th. My mistake. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion approved. All right, announcements, presentations. I don't believe we have a guest artist today. We do not, no. We do not. But we do have a new commissioner. We could do. be our, our guest. We'll start, yeah, let's do our intro. Mr. Edward Lira. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell us a bit about yourself. Yes, yeah, so I've been a longtime resident of Prescott Valley for over 15 years, and I've been recently selected to be a part of this commission. Hooray. <laughs> and I'm very ecstatic about it, actually. So, and to make a difference in this town through this committee, it's going to be really great. So, nice to meet you, Edward. I know I'm a multimedia artist as well. So, neat. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Bringing a lot of variety to the table. To the table. What is your background? What do you mean? What do you do for fun? Oh, I like to, for fun, <laughs> uh, I have a hobby that uh, ranges from model trains to drawing, sketch artists, so. Sounds like a whole lot of art. Yep. Happy to have you. Yep, animation. Very cool. Comics. <laughs> welcome. I love it. Yeah. Good. Well, welcome. And I'm not sure if you've met Jason Elmer, our manager, and then my name is Hope. Uh, Hooper, I'm the recreation supervisor. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> All right, uh, programs, classes, and special events for the town. All right, so one of our upcoming programs is our 2019 Run for the Hill of It. It's a fun run, hike, and walk up Glassford Hill. That's a total of 4.6 miles and a 900 foot incline up the hill. Uh, Pre-registration is open until Friday, September 20th. And if you're able to register uh, on or before that date, it'll be $20 for adults, that's six, ages 16 and over, and $15 for children, ages 15 and under. And pre-registrants will receive a commemorative t-shirt and a medal. We'll continue registration through the day of the event. So you can show up at the event and register from 6 a.m. to 6.45 a.m. on Saturday, October 5th. And you can register anytime between the 20th and then online as well. That's www.pvaz.net. You'll go to the Parks and Recreation page and click on Register Online to find that run. Or call us at 928 seven five nine three zero nine zero and we can help register you as well please note that after the 20th uh, the registration fee does go up ten dollars for adults and ten dollars for children so it'll be 30 for adults and 25 for children after the 20th 
It's a great run. Uh, please leave all your dogs and strollers at home so that we can make sure it's as safe as possible. Uh, we've got our great parks crew up there cleaning up the trail through this month, so it's going to be a wonderful event. We look forward to seeing everyone there. We have a new class coming soon. Our Backcountry Chef class is uh, getting started this month. You can join backpackers Tom and Alicia Blank uh, to learn how to prepare and dehydrate food for camping, backpacking, hunting, uh, and all kinds of outdoor activities. Or if you just want to learn a new skill, maybe you're a, a cook or you like to learn new things, this is a great class to take. Um, Tom teaches several other classes with us. You may be familiar. Uh, painting workshops, drawing workshops, and then he also has another new class that we'll talk about today. Um, if you have questions about that class or if you need help registering, it's 928-759-3090 to contact the Parks and Recreation Department, or you can visit our website at www.pvaz.net. Again, you'll go to our Parks and Recreation page and click on Register Online. Tom's other new class is becoming a backpacker. So you can take both of these classes and get the skills to be able to go on uh, months long hikes in the wilderness. Um, Tom and Alicia are both teaching this class as well um, and they're both very experienced backpackers. They've been doing this for years. They're, they're you know, they've got the skills that they need to be able to teach you how to do these things safely. Uh, the first class is Saturday, September 28th. Registration is open now on our website, or you can call us to register uh, with us or if you have any questions. And again, our phone number is 928-759-3090. We have another new class. Dark Alley Defense is a great class to grow your confidence and learn how to keep yourself safe. Um, our new teacher uh, is teaching self-defense for students who want to learn the proper step-by-step -step <coughs> techniques, um, and it's all within a safe classroom environment. So. Um, this instructor has been teaching for years. Classes take place at um, Mountain View Elementary. Pardon me. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 to 7 p.m. Please note that you do have to pre-register for this class, so make sure you get online and register, or again, give us a call, 928-759-3090, and we'll help you register. Uh, this class is appropriate for ages 13 and up. It is $6 per class, and uh, we look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions about it, again, give us a call. And that's all I have for classes and programs. All right. Next up, division and department update. Mr. Elmer. Good evening, commissioners. I, at this time, have nothing further to add to the director's report, but I will answer any questions that you may have. I'm good. Good? No questions yes. for me. Okay. Then at this time, I'll sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, next up, uh, chairperson report. Hi, how's it going? I wanted to talk to everybody about committees that we're on, if at all possible. Um, we have had a commissioner change and um, wanted to open the floor for discussion if we wanted to switch an event or um, get Edward in the slots that are open. And I'm not sure if anyone has their committee list with them tonight. I believe I do. Excellent. Uh, so maybe what we can do is share that with Edward and then give you some time, uh, Commissioner Lira, to be able to look through committees and kind of see what programs you might be interested in. So not decisions we have to make tonight, but definitely. No, but I do want to get wheels Definitely time to start thinking turning. about it, for sure. Um, I would like to throw out there that as long as nobody's opposed, I'd like to join the Create a Tree Committee, please. You're on it with me, right? Yes. Yes. Well, Frankie's and head Frankie. of it. Thoughts? Frankie's head of, of the Create a Tree. Pass that down. Group it. There you are. Create a tree. Oh, for you, Edward. Oh. <laughs> Just to give you something to eyeball real quick as far as what we're talking about. Would you be all right with me joining that committee? Create you, a tree. Create a tree. 
Christmas trees, the holiday trees. Yeah, to be a part of that committee. Neat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Interested, actually. As well? Yes. Well, I found last year we, we all ended up working as a team for the build anyway, so it's not like that wouldn't be awesome. <laughs> all right, but the hope, what's our, what's our next wildly important as far as committees go? Well, we will have some old business that I'll talk about um, with applications coming out for a few programs mm -hmm. at the end of, towards the end of our meeting here. Okay. Um, past that, we can always sit down with any committees and go over, you know, if we need, if, if there's something that you're interested in, Commissioner Lira, um, that you would want to meet with Brian or meet in a committee um, and kind of go over what responsibilities and what the program would be like. Um, so we can talk about it before you decide. We can do that or um, we can kind of, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, um, um, and maybe when you sit down with um, the director for your regular meeting, that's something that you guys can talk about how we can bring him back in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Motion for a question. Yeah. So we can actually discuss this during a work study. Yes, but uh, committee meetings aren't the same as work studies. Uh, you can meet in the groups of committees and talk. Um, ideas and details and stuff and it's not a regular agenda item because we're not making any uh, decisions or, or choices in that way. So like we could get together and talk about an upcoming theme or get together and talk about um, a schedule for getting things done for the following year. It's, it's less formal than this one, okay. but available anytime. And I'm pretty open as well as far as meeting times go. Okay, cool. And maybe it would be helpful um, next week when Director Woody's back to have you sit down with him and go over kind of some of the limitations with committees and, and where, what information, like what the trail of information is and action and that kind of stuff. Um, because I think probably tonight we don't need to get into all those details. Unless, that would take a while. Yeah, yeah. So um, definitely we'll we'll schedule to get you a sit down with him. We can go over all the detail stuff that that uh, since you were just just brought on last week, you probably haven't had a chance to go over much. So um, hitting the ground running. Excuse me, I did review most of the items so that you guys voted on. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, as far as like talking to Director Witty yes. about procedures and stuff like that. So um, I know that he was probably on the road about the time that you were, uh, shortly after you were brought on at the council meeting. So um, I think it'll help to sit down with him and, and clarify procedures and stuff. Yeah, there's that just way a couple of specifics we have to adhere to as far as gathering. But yeah. And that's about it for me. Moving on to old business. Movies under the stars. All right. So we had a successful Movies Under the Stars season yeah, in May and June. Um, we did the drive-in again. That went great. Uh, the Mingus ladies were at all of our movies. We always appreciate that. Thank you, Commissioner Gibson, for making that possible. Uh, we had almost all of our sponsors return this year, and we had two new sponsors as well. So packed full of great people. Um, if you're a business organization and you want to have more to do with Movies Under the Stars, if you want to talk about being a sponsor next year, uh, it's never too early to start those discussions. So come and find us. Um, and unless you, anyone else had comments, Commissioner Gibson, if you'd like to say a few words about the movies. It was great as always. Excellent. Um, I had a, a question. Would anyone be opposed to maybe a theme in the upcoming year? Like maybe we could hit all the, we can't hit all of them, but get some of the, like a superhero summer or something along that line. Star Wars. Star Wars. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. There are limitations as to what movies we can get from yes. the movie houses, but as we get closer, um, or classic Disney. We can keep in touch with those agents and and kind of start to throw those kind of ideas at them and see what would be possible. Fabulous. I think that would be fun. Thank you. 
and they're they're great folks to work with. So, and we have a couple, so that gives us some variety as well. So, phenomenal. All right. So, for Art at the Center, for anyone who's not familiar, we did add several new pieces this uh, late this spring. Um, the piece that you see on the screen uh, at the top of the Art at the Center cluster there is Torque by Dale Andress. So that, that piece is now part of the permanent collection. Um, and then to the left of that, you'll see Totem Number 1. Uh, and that was a piece that came in on loan this year and has been added to the permanent collection as well. That's by artist Gary Slater. Um, we also have two of his other pieces in the permanent collection, Sky Disc 1 and 2. Uh, these are all located behind the library. It's a gorgeous little spot. Uh, he, all these artists do beautiful work. And we're very happy that Gary was willing to come back with another piece through this program. And then on the right side of those images, you'll see an installation and a close-up of the horse that was installed. We had another donation from Jean Galazan, so we added another horse to our herd uh, near the Summit Trail. So big thank you to Jean. Um, he's been great. It, he just made a huge donation this year with those horses. So we're so happy uh, that he found us and that we were able to work that out. So. And any comments or questions about the Art at the Center uh, permanent collection and the changes we've made this year? Would you remind people where the herd is at? Yes, yeah, so the Summit Trail goes up Glassford Hill and the horses are located on the flat part of that. And you can see them as you're approaching the trailhead for the Summit Trail. And that's over, um, if you take uh, Florentine when it becomes sunset west towards the hill and then you just follow that as it curves to the right and you'll see the horses as soon as you make that turn it's really cool um, it's a gorgeous spot for them uh, we've had some community members take some gorgeous pictures of them out there so it's been a really nice addition Right where they belong at home on That's the range. Right. I love That's it. right. And if you come out for a run for the hill of it, you can see them in person. How perfect. <laughs> All right. So uh, as far as committee updates, um, we have a few things coming up uh, based on what committees have approved. Um, so the Create a Tree application for 2019 was approved. Those applications will open on October 14th. Um, we'll bring you more information about those at the next meeting, but organizations and individuals are invited to submit applications to decorate the library for the month of December with their original artistic trees. Uh, we do have a copy of the old application on our website. If you want to get familiar with the rules and kind of restrictions with that program, Program. Um, there's not too much to it, just you know, some safety items. And then keep in mind it's a free program. So it's a great marketing opportunity for organizations or even individuals. Last year we had a beautiful tree from a single artist. We had another gorgeous tree from a father and daughter. Um, so no limitations on who can apply and participate in that program. We also will have Art at the Center uh, calls possibly going out soon. Um, keep an eye on those, and when those are ready, they'll be posted on the website. If you ever have questions about Art at the Center, please contact us at 928-759-3090. And of course, for anyone who would want to make a sculpture donation, we are always accepting those. So we don't have to wait for that application to open if you'd like to make a donation to the town. Theater on the Green, we are accepting applications for entertainers, and we always are, but we're getting hot and heavy with it now. Uh, we're ready to start scheduling, get, get the schedule rolling for 2020, so uh, if you're an entertainer, band, magician, dancer, whatever it may be, get a hold of us, and uh, we do have an entertainment form that you can fill out on the website, or you can call us at 928 759-3090 and we'll help get you through that process. And that's all I have for old business. All right. New business. We have action requested here. Um, 
Commissioner Smith and Sinclair. <laughs> yes. No? Okay. Um, Andy Sinclair and I have been meeting with Brian and Hope also uh, to put together a proposal to present to the town council um, re asking them to support us and to approve us procuring a, uh, the Lakeshore Drive sculpture, the model that has been uh, begun by uh, Ed Riley of the Bronze Smith. We worked on a presentation. We would like the commission's approval to present it to council uh, next Thursday, September 26th. And so I, any discussion questions about, about this? The obelisk or monument, yes. as it may have been called, basically predicts the history of Prescott Valley, looking at the uh, rural ranching community, looking at the diversity of the community, looking at the natural aspects of the community itself, and it's a matter of trying to show that off. Uh, so we would love to present this to the council uh, to get council approval. Um, one thing about this project also is that if it does go forward, it would not involve municipal money. Uh, yes. It would be donations, uh, possibly grants, uh, contributions from the community in general. So yes. it would be a great piece of work to show off our community's history uh, and show off the yard. This is, the yeah, and the location of this will be at the intersection of Lakeshore Drive and School Boulevard where the paved area is there. It's always been planned that there would be a sculpture there. It just hasn't come to fruition yet. So we're trying to make that happen. So is this a written proposal? Yes, oh yes, we have a written proposal. We've got a slideshow uh, for the, for the uh, council next week. Yeah, it's being put together. Not tomorrow, next week. Not, yes, well, council next week is when uh, we're waiting for Brian to be in town because he will be, he needs to be there to present it. But yeah, we have. Yes, and we've gotten a uh, word from uh, Ed Riley as to the cost, uh, you know, what our co what the cost will be for it, so we can make a complete presentation to council. No further questions for me. Nope. I will accept a motion to approve the presentation of the Lakeshore Plaza sculpture project to council at the next meeting. I make a motion. I make a motion that we uh, have a presentation before the town council next week to address the uh, obulus to be named later. To be named at a later date. <laughs> yes, I think we need to state it as the Lakeshore Sculpture Project. The sculpture would be uh, the Lakeshore Sculpture, sculpture Project. Project yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? We will be... Motion carries. Motion carries. We will be presenting at the next council meeting the Lakeshore Sculpture Project. And we will be updating you as to the results of that once we... Absolutely. Once it happens. All right. That looks like it for new business. Unscheduled public appearances. I don't think so. Not today, huh? All right, uh, our next work study meeting will be Wednesday, October 9th at 5.30 p.m. in conference room 428 in the Civic Center building. And our next regular meeting will be Wednesday, October 16th, 5.30 right here in the auditorium. If there are no other items for discussion, do we need to approve that? All right. <laughs> if there are no other items up for discussion, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Meeting adjourned.